Hey there and welcome to a new episode. Today we are in our studio and we're going to shoot some models on 120 and 35 mil film. I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you what a day in a studio looks like. I'm going to deconstruct the shooting a little bit, showing you my concept and the styling I came up with, the color palettes and all my thoughts which went into it. And yeah, I'm going to show you everything from behind the scenes to the final photos. And I'm super excited. I haven't been in the studio for a while, so yeah, I'm stoked. Let's go. As I said, we're gonna shoot mainly on medium format, although I wanna shoot quite a lot with my new SLR and 35 mil as well. Film stock, we are mainly be shooting Kodak Portra 400 and 800. I brought some Lomo 800 as well. I'm gonna, I wanna try out because I haven't shot it. One roll of Fuji Pro H, um, but the rest is all Portra 400, 800, and two black and white L4 XP2s. That's basically all I brought. And yeah, camera-wise, Contax 167MT, a Siconic light meter, and. My main camera for today, RB67. So for the styling concept of this shoot, I was inspired by one of my favorite movies called Snatch by Guy Ritchie. I was especially inspired by the character which is played by Brad Pitt and his family who live on a trailer park. Their style is kind of nonchalant, easygoing, mixed together of different influences, a bit of 80s, British kind of style. We collaborated with a vintage store in Vienna where we were able to rent out some garments for the shoot. For the color palette, I chose mostly like earthy tones, brown, beige, sand colored tones, which I combined with a sand beige kind of backdrop which worked really well in the photos, I think. So overall, it was just really cool to see the concept I had in my mind come into fruition and it worked out really well, I think. And it was a really fun project to, to work on and see, see it come to life. As I'm quite new to shooting in a studio, the lighting setup was quite simple. I had an Aperture 120D Mark II on the left side to fill the key light of the subject's face with a diffuser on top of it. On the right side I had some LED panels which gave more of like a fill light to even out the scene. I wanted a basically quite neutral, well lit scene. Yeah, I think this worked out quite well. Although with analog photography you always come to certain limitations based on the ISO of the film you shoot. So with 400 ISO it's already quite difficult to shoot inside with only the daylight lamps. So I chose to shoot mainly Portra 800 and Lomo 800 as it gives you a bit more flexibility with the aperture. I also wanted to make use of outdoor light as long as we still had some. So we went out in the backyard of our studio where there are these two walls coming together, the brick wall and the concrete wall and some foliage on top of it. So it kind of makes for an interesting scene as well. It was overcast the whole day, so it was also perfect light for shooting, good for skin tones, just a nice diffused light. <laughs>
So this was our day shooting in the studio. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun shooting the models. They were super naturally talented and it was just great to shoot them. And yeah, if you also enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And if you want to see more of my work, check out my Instagram channel or my website. Thank you. Bye.